I just want to come on and read a devotional from the book that I wrote. Um, I cover 30 examples in the Word of God of people who were engaged in the faith, people that fully trusted in God. We're going to look out of the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 19, and I encourage you to read those verses of Scripture on your own. But I want to look at verse 5, um, and it said this, I knew you before I formed you. This is God talking to Jeremiah in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And the title of this devotion is God Said You Can. You got to know that today. If God has called you to do something, you are more than able to do it through his ability, through his power, through his spirit that works in you today. You got to know that. So in this story... Jeremiah is out minding his own business, just living life how he knew to do. But God had something else in store for him. What's so interesting about God is that he always has a way of stretching our faith. Isn't that the truth? You say you have faith. You know what? God's going to stretch your faith. You're going to be tested. You're going to be tested like you've never been tested before. And God specializes in testing your faith to see, do you really believe him? Do you really trust him? Are you really standing upon his word? So know that today, your faith will be stretched in the kingdom of God. So Jeremiah is being put to the test. So it goes on to say, it was a day that Jeremiah did not expect, a day when his life would change forever. God said that before Jeremiah was conceived in his mother's womb, he knew him. He already laid out the whole plan for Jeremiah. God knows everything and every detail of your life. God went on to say that he called Jeremiah to be a prophet to the nations, a life-changing moment. His entire life is about to be changed for the glory of God. Jeremiah, what was his response? He says he can't do it because he can't speak, that he speaks as a child. So he basically doesn't want to do what God has called him to do. Have you ever been there? I've been there. I've ran from the call of God in my life until I was so miserable that I had no choice but to submit to his grace. So submit to him today. Do what he's called you to do. Don't You don't have to run because it's just going to be miserable for you. you. You're going to go through so much unnecessary hardship because you're just doing your own thing. You're just putting God on a shelf somewhere. But obey God today. Do what he's called you to do. It's the greatest choice you'll ever make to be in the will of God. So notice that he said, I can't. God said that he was more than able and that he put his words in Jeremiah's mouth. And that's all you got to know today, that God has qualified you. God has equipped you. God put his word in your heart today. Hallelujah. That's good news today. You are qualified. You are anointed to go forth for the glory of God. So Jeremiah said, I can't, God. And God said, yes, you can. See, the call was to go forth and speak against nations and kingdoms, calling out kings, officials, priests, and the people of Judah who were committing abominations and everything ungodly. It's so awesome to see God not only call Jeremiah into action, but he encouraged him that he would never be alone. Jeremiah submitted and went forth as a prophet. Back in Jeremiah's day, the spirit of Christ was not dwelling in him because it, he was in the old covenant, only working with him. See, God would move upon him and that was it. But things are much different today for us believers. We are in the new covenant. We have Christ in us, the hope of glory. We are filled with the fullness of God and the power of the Holy Ghost. So it goes on to say in 
Colossians 1.27, Paul the Apostle said, For God wanted them to know that the riches and glory of Christ are for you Gentiles too, not just for the Jews. And this is the secret that's been hidden from generations. Christ lives in you. This gives you assurance of sharing in his glory. This is the good news of the gospel. When we think we can't, God said we can. Be encouraged today that through Christ and his miraculous power that dwells in you today through faith, you are unstoppable and you can go forth and flourish, fulfilling the call of God on your life. God is with you because he's in you today. When we're engaged in the faith, we will be unstoppable through Christ. So God said you can. Stop making excuses. Stop looking at yourself. You bring nothing to the table but your crucified self so that you can live a life resurrected in the power of Christ, flourishing and going forth, manifesting his kingdom and his glory upon the earth. So that's what I wanted to share today. If you have not received a copy of my book, visit the link on this post and go ahead and order yours today. So be encouraged today. God said you can.